Hello everyone, welcome to Believers IS Academy. As part of Indian Physiography, we will be looking in this video at the coastal regions of mainland India. So the coastal region in India is actually extending from the Kutch in Gujarat to the Gangetic Delta in the uh, eastern side. In the western side you have Kutch in Gujarat, it's starting from there and then it is going until Kanyakumari and up to the Gangetic Delta in here. And it is going to cover around 6,100 km length of coastline. And the coast of India is actually um, divided into western coast and eastern coast. And the coastal region of India are known for agriculture, trade, fishing, industrial centers, tourist centers, and also salt making. And uh, they also provide important hinterlands for the ports. So you get, many important ports are located in this area. All right. So the firstly, uh, we look at the western coast. So it lies between the Western Ghats and Arabian Sea from Gujarat in uh, north to Kanyakumari in south. Okay, uh, as you can see here, there will be the Arabian Sea and here is the Western Ghats. So in between that area, we have the coastal plains. And from Gujarat, the north point is Gujarat Ghats area to Kanyakumari. And it is narrower and wetter than eastern plains. Wetter because, uh, as you know, the monsoon is going to enter here, and there is going to be high rainfall. It will be more wetter. And there is also presence of uh, a multiple number of rivers and uh, it's divided into actually Malabar coast, Kannada coast, Kongan coast, Kanyakumari coast, Kutch and Kathiawar peninsulas. Now broadly it can be divided into Kathiawar coast, Kongan coast, Kannada coast, Kanyakumari coast and Malabar coast. Okay. So Kutch to dam, uh, dam and Dew, this area, you can call it as Kathiawar coast and after that you have Kongan coast and then you have mainly Malabar coast. So the Kananur to Cape Cameron, Cameron. This area is called as uh, Kanyakumari coast, and Malabar coast is Kanyakumari plus uh, Kannada coast. So, including this, Kannada coast and Kanyakumari together is Malabar coast. So, broadly, you can say it's Malabar coast, uh, Kongan coast, and uh, Kathiawar coast. All right. So, there are important ports in here: the Mumbai port, the Marmagoa, Cochin, Mangalore and Navasheva and Kandla. These are the important ports in the uh, western coastal plain and there are important lagoons like Ashtamudi and Vemanad uh, lakes and also that they are called as Kyles. Kyles mean lake in Kerala. In Malayalam it means lake. And uh, eastern, uh, eastern plains, uh, the eastern coastal plains, the next one. So it lies between eastern Ghats and Bay of Bengal, pretty obvious, and the Ganganik Delta in north to Kanyakumari in south and it's not as land of deltas because many rivers form here um, you know many deltas are formed here because mostly if you look at uh, the eastern side the rivers will be very slow compared to the western side because western uh, girls are more steep and the rivers will be fast flowing here it will be slower comparatively and a lot of deltas will be formed by rivers like uh, Ganga, Mahanadi, Krishna, Kaveri and so on okay and uh, it, it can be divided into Utkal coast, Andhra coast, Northern Circus, and uh, Coromandel coast. Here you can see Utkal coast. Okay, actually Utkal coast is the delta, um, delta plains of Ganga to Mahanadi delta. So Ganga to Mahanadi delta it will be called as um, Utkal coast. Okay, and famous Chilka lake is located here in this plain. And then you have uh, Andhra coast, Utkal plains to Pulikat lake. See so, Utkal plains to Pulikat lake will be Andhra coast. And uh, Mm, it contains deltas of Godavari and Krishna rivers and uh, the northern circus, Utkal coast plus Andhra coast, both together. Utkal coast plus Andhra coast is known as northern circus. And then Coromandel coast, the southern part here, you can see. See here. And that is uh, between Krishna and Kanyakumari, and uh, it consists of the Kaveri delta. The freshwater Koleru lake is located between Godavari and Krishna and uh, it's marked with famous lagoons. The Chilka lake is located here and uh, also the Pulikat lake in Tamil Nadu is also located in this area, uh, the eastern coastal plain. So that's all about coastal plains. For more such videos, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also visit us on our uh, social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram. You can also join our uh, Telegram channel where you will be getting uh, infographics, uh, current affair materials, blogs, and much more updates. You can also visit our website uh, believersis.com where you will be uh, get you where you will understand what kind of course structure that we are providing. So thanks for watching.